Brendan got some World War II binoculars from a garage sale for 25 bucks. Your body is normal out here. Like, you look all normal, and then when you get to your neck, it goes. <laughs> Boy, that's a real live didgeridoo ball of brew. If I've ever seen one myself, crikey! Let's go touch it. <laughs> Boy, <Blimey. laughs> raptors. I just saw Jurassic World. <laughs> Here's some aluminium Brandon melted down from previous times. Here he's emptying out the ashes from his furnace. This episode is brought to you by Honey Twist Snack. It's not really, but I wish it was. I would eat these every day. They're delicious. First step in the foundry process is lighting the furnace. Brandon's using lighter fluid and a match. Wow! <laughs> Here, I have one of these french fries. Oh. <laughs> you don't like them? No! Oh, man. Final five! <laughs> and here, Brandon's stoking the fire. And there's the blower. We salvaged this blower from an old pellet stove. This episode is brought to you by Potato Snack. Vlogging. Want some potato snack? These things are pretty good too. All right, now that the fire's lit, Brandon adds aluminum. He's adding some aluminum ingots. Potato snack? We're going to try to cast a Bitcoin shape, but the dirt was not cooperating. No bueno. The dirt wasn't really holding a shape of anything we tried. Stoke the flames. Brendan came up with an idea to use a little piece of foam just for a test cast. Yeah. The idea is the molten aluminum will melt away the foam. Keeping the fuel in the foundry so it stays nice and hot. What does the chef's recipe call for? Put that in the oven at 1,600 degrees for five minutes. You bring it out and it's done. 1,600 to 1,800 degrees. <laughs> Fahrenheit. Set it. Forget it. The lid of Brendan's foundry lost its concrete insulation, so the steel on the top is turning bright red. The, slag. the next step is to remove the slag, which is imperfections in the aluminum. This is the fun part. Here Brendan's using a piece of a candle as flux. So that's fluxing. So it brings all impurities from the bottom, any gases or other crap, it brings it to the top. Wow. Some red hot aluminium. Brendan's making the extra aluminum into some ingots. Then you have a little baby ingot. Finally, Brendan burned the bag, uh, the briquette bag. It made green flames, which I thought was really cool. Here's the finished product. It looks just like the foam it was made out of. It even has the little slit. Pretty light. What are you doing? What? Seriously? 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 <laughs>